as well as reducing sediment, we aim to undertake projects that provide multiple benefits for the landholder and get water interacting on the landscape to increase ground cover and pasture production. No one property is the same and no management system is the same, so it's about finding tailored solutions. Grazing is the key component of all of these projects. Without good grazing management, no intervention or structure we built will succeed in the long term. So we work very closely with landholders to support changes in grazing management to improve the landscape function, build ground cover and land condition and overall productivity of that landscape. We had eight inches of rain um, over about five days and this whole series of gullies never quite got full. This one was just about to top over and, ne and we never lost um, a drop of water out of it. Yeah, well, there was no sediment nutrient runoff from here up in this catchment. So yeah, it's, um, it's still in its job. The only way of controlling erosion is to slow the water down. I've flooded the, the erosion gullies coming in. Now, in time, they will silt up. All those sharp edges you see will disappear. The grass will gradually encroach down until you've got grass right around the whole, whole edge of the water. The number of cattle on each dam is down from two, three hundred down to around about 50 to 70 head of cattle. They uh, grow healthier, they grow faster, and over the years we've uh, reduced our selling off age from seven to eight years old for our bullocks to uh, three and a half to four years old. It has made a big difference, yeah. You know, it's grown feed all through the gully, where there was a sort of bare area in the bottom of the gully, just or a nice black soil silt left there, but it didn't have the body of feed it's got there now. I was skeptical from the start. I thought because it was freshly done and hadn't had any rain to settle it, I thought it'd gouge it out, but come here after we had a couple of inches in the storm and wasn't any sign of erosion at all. We've done a good job. Banks were put all the way along and uh, there's three or four rock bars on the deepest gully. We had a very heavy rain episode and the water's been pulled up at every turn. So it got the water to spread across the paddock, which has allowed the feed and, and everything to come back and shut those gullies down more or less, which it's, which it's done more or less in straight away. Overall, it's just unreal transformation and that's in the first year. You can see the difference within six months. So what we've done is starved the flow from the creek and we've put a series of contour banks up to take the water away from the head of the gully and spread it out across the floodplain. And even though it hasn't rained for a few weeks, the water's still trickling through the ground here and making its way down there and spreading out. On top of that, when we come through here with the cattle, 
We lock them into little sections about 40 acres at a day and we take this grass right down to the ground and lay down manure and urine all the way through here and uh, that's the sort of response you get. It's amazing that that can change in one season. It's a phenomenal change. The way we're doing things is evolving and we're finding that when we start to look at the bigger picture and integrate these type of structures into the grazing management and the landscape, we're getting a really excellent result.